the Coggle shortcuts you need to know. This is video 7 of the Coggle tutorial, the link to the entire series is in the description below this video. Ok so here we are back at our mind map and we've come a long way together in this short tutorial video, now we know how to do a ton of stuff in Coggle. So this video is all about taking things to the next level and getting used to those shortcuts that are going to really make your workflow more efficient. So you'll notice that on the bottom right hand side there is always a question mark. So you click on that and this gives you access to all the shortcuts you need to know. You've seen me use a lot of these shortcuts as we've moved along the videos, but having them here at the click of one button is really good. It takes the pressure off, it means you don't have to memorize those shortcuts, you can just click on that every single time and eventually you will actually start to remember those shortcuts. So let's do that now, let's go here and let's create a new diagram. This one we're going to call new. And what I'm going to do here is click on tab and that's going to create a new node. So watch this again, I'll type something random and hit tab again and that's going to create another node. Okay, this time I'm going to hold shift and hit return and that's going to create a sub node. Okay, like this. So you can work very quickly with these shortcuts. Another handy one to remember is that you can insert a node midway through a branch without having to delete anything. You can just simply hover over the node point and hold down the shift key so that the plus sign turns into a down arrow. Click on that and that gives you a new node. So call it new point and that's pretty handy. Now remember also that you can hover over any point and hold down your control key in Windows or your command key in a Mac until it turns to a minus and you can click on that and it will delete that point. You can control and Z or command and Z to undo and keep doing that like this to go back to the desired place and you'll notice that you also have a redo in case you undo too many things you can always redo by holding down control plus shift plus Z or command plus shift plus Z. The two handiest ones for me, if I close that down, are clicking on the desktop and just moving your workspace like this and pressing down on any area in the screen to get this wheel and then using the zoom magnifying glass to either zoom in or zoom out. Okay, and then adjusting your workspace like this. So those are the most effective shortcuts that you can use with Coggle to really improve your workflow. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial series, I hope it saved you some time. If it saved you just one or two hours of your life trying to figure out all these things, then that was worth it. Please subscribe if you're interested in tools that make you more efficient and tools that help you succeed online. Thank you very much once again, take it easy and I shall see you in another video.